as we get closer to September 11th, that it's hard not to think about where you were and what you were doing on the day that changed our world forever. It's also hard not to think about the images associated with not only the attack, but also the recovery effort at Ground Zero. Joining us this morning is Marlon Sassan, author of Requiem Images of Ground Zero and founder of the Ground Zero Museum Workshop. Marlon, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So tell me how you were commissioned to do this by the FDNY. Well, actually, this was a, a private venture with a philanthropist in Florida named Beth Moria. I went to the Anne Frank House a year and a half ago, and I was very moved how this little girl could put her face on the Holocaust. And so I wanted to erect a similar museum in New York that would put a face on the victims of 9-11 and also the recovery workers who spent so much time trying to recover the victims. Okay, we're looking at a, a images right now of the museum. Tell me what we'll find there. Well, uh, the images, of course, uh, non-personal artifacts. We do daily tours. Uh, former FDNY firefighters conduct the tours, as do I. And we tell stories behind the images, and it's very moving. And tell me your connection with the FDNY. You're the photographer. I was, I was the official photographer at Ground Zero for the Uniformed Firefighters Association. I was appointed by Rudy Sanfilippo, the Manhattan trustee. All right, Marlon, tell me about um, how people go to the museum. You said there's, two, there's one that's an audio tour. And well, we have daily tours, which you do need a reservation for. But you can also do the museum audio tour, which you don't need a reservation for. And uh, you can just uh, call and make a reservation. And the tours are very emotional and very moving. We don't focus on the morning of 9-11 with images. We focus on the recovery. Uh, we don't show airplanes going into towers. It's a very sensitive and very tasteful museum. And many 9-11 family members helped me uh, in the involvement of it. They used to pass by and give me suggestions on what would make it appropriate. How would people make a reservation, and what is the cost? And where does the money go? Well, we uh, split the money between five different charities. Uh, Brian E. Sweeney Memorial Fund, UFA Widows and Children's Fund, uh, MARF, M-A-R-F, for Mesothelium uh, Research. And we divide the money up, and uh, they can make a reservation by calling ZERV at 212-209-3370 uh, or logging on to ZERV.com. And I brought a couple gifts for you from the museum. I uh, brought you a copy of the book. Yeah. <clears throat> and in honor of the uh, Cancer Week, this is... Uh, I brought the color pink for you. It's an I Love New York uh, t-shirt with the Trade Center as the I and the love uh, as a gift for you. Uh, thank you so much.